Hey, Ryan Patrick at Peak Fitness and Sports Training, and I want to talk today about how mobility and stretching and stability all kind of play into how we actually move. So really, if things are tight or we're not getting enough range of motion, most people are going to gravitate towards trying to stretch right away, and that's not always the case. So um, Lindsay's got a lovely wall slide here that we're going to do, but we're just going to quickly just kind of assess her ability to reach overhead through the wall slide. So she's going to slide her arms up. Okay, she's got her core nice and flat, so you can see she's in a really great position. But right about here, she starts to feel limited. So most people would see this and say, oh, you know, you're really tight through the shoulders. We need to stretch those. However, if we lay her on the floor, okay, and put her put her in the same position. She's still got the same points of contact. Um, what you're going to see is we've essentially taken gravity away so her shoulder doesn't have to stabilize in the same way and her range of motion is going to increase significantly just by taking away that stability component. So while stretching might yield some results in terms of how she moves when she's standing up, what we actually need to do is work on some of the stabilizers of the shoulder so that it's got a really firm platform to move off of and move appropriately. If we don't have enough stability, your body will find something that we just need to get stiffness or stability in the right areas.